This monthly basic training program is on the Hydra Ram. The Hydra Ram is a self-contained hydraulic forcible entry tool that is carried on almost all primary units in Montgomery County Fire Rescue Service. The Hydra Ram is capable of generating in excess of 10,000 pounds of output force at the jaws of the tool with as little as 138 pounds of input force on the handle. The Hydra Ram 1 is carried on the Montgomery County Fire Rescue Service engine company. This tool has a maximum spreading distance of 4 inches and weighs approximately 12 pounds. The Hydra Ram 2 is found on many of the special service units in the Montgomery County Fire Rescue Service and has a maximum spreading distance of 6 inches. The tool weighs about 13 pounds. Both versions of the tool operate on a three-stage hydraulic pump system that is pressurized. This pressurization allows the tool to operate without priming the hydraulic pump. The Hydra Ram will operate in any direction. Normal position, upside down, vertical position in a roll-up door. The Hydra Ram tools do not use normal hydraulic fluid or mineral oil in any part of their operation. Instead, they use propylene glycol, which is very similar to antifreeze, and therefore cold weather will not affect the tool's operation. This fluid is skin safe, unlike traditional mineral oil or hydraulic fluid, which can cause skin irritation or burns. The parts of the Hydra Ram. the piston, the jaws, the pump handle, fluid reservoir, the locking ring, spring-loaded ball seat valve, care and maintenance of the hydro ramp, the internal hydraulic pump contains several o-rings and rubber seals. These seals must be lubricated to prevent drying and cracking, which can lead to tool failure. This can result in the pump failing to build pressure, or can cause the piston to retract under load. This will result in the tool being unable to build or hold pressure as the internal fluid of the sealed system leaks through the cracked rings from the pressure side of the pump to the reservoir side of the pump. Keeping your Hydra Ram in tip-top shape is easier than ever. To lubricate and maintain the tool in proper working order, the tool should be exercised during apparatus weekly checks. No, this does not mean simply opening and closing the Hydra Ram. It must be exercised under a heavy load. Think of lifting the station dumpster. Per the manufacturer, the more it is exercised under these type of loads, the better and more reliable your Hydra Ram will be. Checking the status of the Hydra Ram's hydraulic system is really simple. First, you'll see a nickel-sized hole above where the piston extends from the body of the tool. Next, insert a screwdriver all the way into the hole. Mark the depth on the screwdriver. Remove the screwdriver and then measure the depth marked on the screwdriver. If you were able to insert the screwdriver greater than 5 inches, the tool has lost its charge and needs to be serviced only by the manufacturer. The tool should be placed out of service, a defect report written in THEA, and then sent to small tools for repair.
The final maintenance item for your hydroram is checking the function or position of the release lever when the valve is closed. This spring-loaded lever operates a ball seat valve. If the valve is out of adjustment, the tool cannot develop the proper pressure. To check this, the valve, when closed, should be between the 10 o'clock and the 11 o'clock position. If the valve is at or beyond the 12 o'clock position, the tool should be placed out of service and sent to small tools for adjustment in the normal procedure. The Hydro Ram was specifically designed for use on inward swinging metal doors in metal door frames, but it has many other uses in forcible entry operations. The following are steps along a path whose goal is a safely forced door. 1. Complete a door size up, keeping some things in mind, inward versus outward, door construction material, known or potential locks, type of occupancy, etc. 2. Use a tool. Consider using a halogen bar or similar tool to apply pressure to the door. You could even use your foot or knee to create a small opening in the jam. 3. Insert the hydroram jaws into this gap within an area 6 inches above or below the lock. If needed, tap the hydroram into place using the supplied 2 pound rubber mallet. Note, per the manufacturer, the hydroram is not designed to be hit by a maul or the back of an axe. This will lead to avoidable damage, which is costly to repair. 4. Remove the ring lock from the handle and the handle should automatically raise away from the body of the hydroram to about a 45 degree angle. This will charge the hydraulic pump. 5. Begin to pump the handle, keeping the pressure against the hydroram so it doesn't walk away from the door frame and lose its purchase. Six, repeat until the door or lock is defeated or you have reached the maximum throw of the tool. Four inch for Hydro Ram 1 or six inch for the Hydro Ram 2 model. If needed, use a tool to capture your current progress. Then adjust the Hydro Ram and continue to force the door. Depending on the locking mechanisms and the door construction features, it may be necessary to finish the force using another tool. You may need to force each individual locking mechanism separately on reinforced doors or quality doors that have quality locks. To request the use of the Public Safety Training Academy forcible entry prop or other areas of the PSTA, submit the request via MCFRS Quick Links.